hello welcome back to subtech online um thank you all of you for watching our videos liking commenting sharing all that we appreciate a lot uh today i'm going to take you through still data validation uh we got questions from our uh, our subscribers uh i got one question from a subscriber called uh bank tones bank tones um uh, kudos uh so the question was what if the drop down data validation from a different google sheet in the range of a to uh, a14 uh, last time we are doing data validation uh, which was this we did a lot you can check the video description in the video on top i've put for you the link or in the description below so we did validation in the same workbook like the same google sheet but a different sheet which was the selection this time, uh, Bangtons asks, what if we are using a different Google Sheet, which is maybe shared by or managed by someone else, which we are going to use here as data validation from Sheet 2. So this is the Sheet 2. We need to have this validation in our working sheet, and we have to leave it dynamic such that any update done on this sheet automatically reflects in our, uh, in our validation or in our dropdowns. So here we go. I will use the import range. So we are going to use the import range. So equals to import range, uh, which is this. Then you open brackets. You go and copy the URL because that is the syntax. You go and copy the URL of uh, the sheet where you want to link to or to ping to. So I will paste the link, the URL, but make sure that you remove everything that is beyond edit. So that is it i'll close the quotes then comma now the next thing we open quotes we bring the worksheet where or the range of the worksheet where we want to pick that validation so this is the worksheet called validation uh, i can change actually i can call it data such as it is different from what we have already so uh, i will copy this it is data then i know my range is from a2 to a14 as he has already requested so we shall come here, paste data, then exclamation mark, that is A2 to A14. Then the next thing is you close quotes, you close brackets. Now after, after, after inputting all this, the moment you press enter, for the first time when you're accessing that sheet, it is going to ask you to allow access. Automatically you allow, or if it needs logins, you log in, then it will give you access. The moment you have access, since I already have, the moment I enter, it is going to load and bring for me exactly the values in this range. So uh, we are going to go ahead and create a validation. So we can go ahead and create a validation here. That is uh, the drop downs. As uh, already uh, bang tones has requested. So I'll create that drop down here. It can be on a different sheet. It can be here. Same thing. Uh, let's have it on the same sheet where I worked from last time. So I will take this range. So what you do here, you go to data validation, you go to range, data validation, then you're going to add a new role. So we are applying the range on uh, A21, which is this. So we shall go to data drop down. then we say from the range. This time the range is we are selecting the range which we have already imported here. So you can go ahead and drag it down because at, the, at some point you may need to adjust your range depending on what you need. So I'll drag it up to around 22. I will say OK. And here we go. It picks this and done. So apply all this to that. Yes, we go ahead. So uh, here we go. So the moment we do this, you see Samsung. Now, here we are we are having it ending at hawaii now we want to test it in case this said we added more three companies do we have this dynamically changing the other side so we have added the three that is trashon honor and oneplus so when we come this side uh, to our you will see that uh trashon honor and oneplus is already added so the moment i add also this side uh subtech online uh, which is our channel please go ahead and subscribe automatically we shall find uh, subtech online will update 
automatically here we go so thanks a lot guys uh uh, if it is the first time you have uh, reached this channel, please uh, leave us a thumbs up, hit that red button, hit the notification bell such that you can get videos like this the moment we post them. Thanks again. This video goes to Bangtons and uh, I appreciate brother. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.